And now to the pandemic. LA County appro approaching a troubling new milestone in the battle against coronavirus. We're nearing 1 million confirmed cases now. Public health officials reporting nearly 13,000 new infections. 137 more people have died. Hospitalizations are down with more than 7,900 patients being treated right now. Riverside County added 8,400 new cases over the weekend and reported 32 new deaths. San Bernardino County revealing more than 3,400 new cases and 15 new deaths. Ventura County had nearly 3,300 new cases and 17 new deaths over the weekend. Orange County reporting more than 3,200 cases and 29 new deaths. More than 2,200 people remain hospitalized there. And every minute, 10 positive COVID-19 cases emerge in LA County. And every eight minutes, there's another death. Startling new statistics tonight. The news comes as LA County's largest testing site closes down. Kick it on Leslie Marin with more. I see the CLA car after car lined up at Dodger Stadium. It's the last night of COVID-19 testing at the largest testing site in the nation. But tonight, LA County health leaders admit shutting it down will leave a gap in much needed testing. But testing demand remains very high across all of the sites, city, state, and county, given the ongoing surge. Dodger Stadium alone is responsible for one third of the county's COVID tests. So where will all these people go? Right now, the mayor's office says they will ramp up the number of tests offered at eight of its existing sites. But healthcare experts say black and brown communities will suffer most. Not only are these communities the hardest hit, but they tend to have the most severe types of symptoms. My opinion is that I think it really should be hybrid. A hybrid of testing and vaccinating. But the massive vaccination effort does come during LA County's darkest days. Health officials say one person is dying every eight minutes from COVID and 10 people test positive every minute. The damaging impact to our families and our local hospitals from this surge is the worst disaster our county has experienced for decades. This notion of an all hands on deck approach to accelerate uh, the equitable and safe distribution of vaccines. Today, the governor set a goal of administering 1 million vaccines by the end of the week to health care workers. The Gottlieb sisters are dentists across the state. Dentists are now training to help administer shots. Only 32% of the vaccines that we have available in LA County have been administered. There's definitely a need for us to be able to fill that void and um, help our community. But tonight, it's not only humans getting the virus. At least two gorillas at the San Diego Zoo tested positive for COVID after possibly being exposed to asymptomatic caretakers. At the LA Zoo, keepers wear PPE and keep their distance from primates. I encourage my staff this whole time that, hey, we're not... It's not just you that we're talking about. You don't have to just protect yourself. You have a job that's different than a lot of jobs. You know, you have to protect the animals. The county says aside from Dodger Stadium, they will be opening up five other massive vaccination sites. They say they will release details on those sites later this week. Reporting in Allegiant Park, Leslie Marin, KCAL 9 News.